Hey angels, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be answering some questions that I got in reference to the business 919 frames. Um, today is going to be awkward home footage because if I don't get to these questions, I'll never get to them. And that's just the God honest truth. So right now I have my book right here and I have all of you guys' questions. I wrote all the questions down, so I'm going to be reading a question off to you guys, and I'm going to be answering. This video might be a little bit lengthy, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Um, you're going to have to save this video because you're going to have to go back. It's um, 32 questions that I have written down. Um, a lot of the questions was repeated and redundant, so I tried to just narrow it down to the top questions. Um, that was being asked. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Share my videos. Comment down below if I helped you start your business. Um, you know, people come and read the comments. They want to see what's going on here. So, thank you to all of my angels. I really love and appreciate you guys. And other than that, let's just dive right into this video. Okay, Andrew, so the first question is, if I was wanting to just buy the vendors list and start selling without a license locally, is that legal? Most local governments require business owners, even online sellers, to legitimize their business by obtaining a business license. So whether you're selling through a marketplace like Etsy or operating an independent website, you are required to abide by your local laws. This often means getting a business license depending on what you are selling. You might also need to obtain additional licensing. Check your city, check with your city or your county's website for information about the permits and requirements in your area. So all areas is different, guys. All right, so that's really the professional answer. If you want to keep it real, uh, the keep it real answer is so many people are selling stuff and operating a business without a license or permit. So technically, with the drive and the hustle, you can sell anything with how far technology has come. Um, you have so many options and platforms to sell online. I will say this though, if you want to run and operate a legitimate business, then you definitely want to follow the rules of your local state and county. Got it? Get it. Question number two. Okay, so question number two is who can help me build a website? So first and foremost, I want to suggest my YouTube sister. Her name is Unique Tershe. Uh, she vlogs here over on YouTube. I'll make sure I leave all her information down below. You can also check Fiverr, 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 yeah, Fiverr. It's an app that you can get on your phone. Um, I'll leave the name here and down below. So check Fiverr. Fiverr is like an app that people get on. And um, if you can do certain things like small little jobs and gigs, like big business cords or make um, YouTube banners and stuff like that. If you guys need to make some extra cash, you can actually get on Fiverr and um, post up there what you're good at. And people actually pay you for your services. Um, also, search on Instagram for hashtags. You want to look for hashtag website designers and hashtag website builders. Question number three. Okay, so can you use multiple vendors or is it best to just use one? The answer to that is you can use as many vendors as you like. It's no harm in shopping around. I would suggest that you stay organized. Keep a log of whatever you purchase um, from your vendors. I will say that I recommend working with one or two vendors. That way you are comfortable and familiar with the vendors. They know you and respect you as a business and it gives you confidence in the quality of your products. Your customers is going to want to see that consistency with the quality of your glasses, um, your shipping time and everything like that. Your customers is really gonna to wanna to see that. So I would say stick to one or two vendors. Don't do too much and make sure you keep like a record and a log of everything, stay organized. Okay, question number four people under age 18 cannot form legal business entities and their parents should do so on their behalf research the state teen labor and 
age of consent business laws. In most cases, in most states, minors cannot legally enter contracts without the approval of an adult. Teens seeking to start a business will need an adult partner to legally run and finance their business. Okay, question number five. Okay, so question number five is how many sunglasses should I start with? Uh, how many pairs should I start out with? So start with at least five styles. Your average box of sunglasses is sold by the dozen. You will get 12 frames, so multiply that by five. Um, that's 60 pairs of glasses. From personal experience, the number of styles is more important than the number of pairs. Reason being is because people like options. Your customers is going to want to see variety. Nobody will take your business serious with two styles listed on your site. So if you want to start small, you should be thinking along the lines of five styles and like five pairs each. Um, I also did a video on that, like with pricing your sunglasses and everything like that. So make sure you guys uh, check out the playlist of how to start a sunglass business and you'll get more information there. Okay, guys, question number six. So question number six says, hey. Where's the list to the vendors you were talking about? To locate my vendors list, guys, you have to go over to the website, shop 919 frames and slash wholesale. That's the website. I'll make sure it is left down below in a tab and I'll put it here on the screen so you guys can see it. Um, so click in the link at the description of this video. Uh, go over to the website. Once you click the wholesale tab, you'll see the wholesale vendor list. Hopefully by the time you guys see this video, maybe or may not, I might still be working on it. You'll see a um, a few different wholesale lists that I'm actually working on because I wanted to do some wholesale lists that's more um, customized for you guys' individual needs. Some people need um, like shipping information, like um, packaging information um suggestions so i'm going to give you a whole different list of vendors and of course we'll have like the ultimate list where you could just get everything together so i'm working on a few different things for you guys okay moving right along question number seven okay so question number seven is can i still make money selling sunglasses from a cart or at the flea market and the answer to that question is yes. Yes, you can um, sell sunglasses out of a shopping cart or um, at a flea market. Uh, it's really optional. It's up to you. Um, you can make money selling sunglasses from a cart or a flea market. Some people see these options as old school. But to be honest, you can sell sunglasses in so many ways. But don't be afraid to get a table at a flea market or a convention because um, basically you want to get that your brand out there. So even if you don't make too many, too many sales and people don't really purchase uh, your sunglasses at that point in time, you're a new brand. So you just got to get used to that. But you'll be able to like actually get your brand out there for people to actually see like your brand theme, your color, your logo, and just get familiar with your brand. And ultimately, that's what you want to do because this is why people shop at um different stores forever 21 um all these online stores people who shop at these stores because they're familiar with the brand so try to get your brand out there moving right along question number eight question number eight is how much would you say your startup cost was Okay, so startup costs. I mentioned this in another video, so check out my How to Start a Sunglass playlist. Um, below in the description bar, you should see a link that you can click on. So with the sunglass business, this is a business that you can start with little to no money. My advice would be for you to set a budget for yourself. Uh, make a list of what you want and what you need to start the business. And then you want to fit all of that stuff into your budget. In some cases, you may have to put some things on hold if it doesn't fit into your budget. So just keep that in mind. Okay, moving right along. Question number nine. Okay, so question number nine is how fast did it take my business to grow? How fast did it take your business to grow? That's what the question was. Um, 
I launched my business in September 19, 2017. So almost three years in business. Uh, now, all businesses is different when it comes to growth. But I will share my personal experience with starting on 19 Frames. Okay, so when I opened um, my business, um, I had a lot of support from you guys and some some of my friends, some of my family. So it was pretty much slow to start. For the first few months, it was really slow. Um, I launched the wholesale vendors list sometime after. Ended up starting the wholesale vendors list because as I watched the business grow, I noticed that more people was actually interested in starting a sunglass business. So I wanted to make sure I shared the information and knowledge with you guys. Um, so I started the how to start a sunglass business playlist on YouTube and I added the wholesale vendors list. Um, so it just gave people something different to do as opposed to just buying frames from the website. And of course, um, frames can be seasonal depending on where you live. I'm on the East coast. Um, I'm in Jersey. So once it's cold, nobody's really wearing frames. But the cool thing about that is as the business started to grow, um, I get customers from all over the world. So a lot of people from the West Coast started to buy uh, sunglasses and stuff, even in the down season that I was having on the East Coast. So, I mean, it really takes time. I would say starting out, everything was pretty much slow and steady. And then as I added the wholesale vendors list, things started to like really pick up. Right now, I would say that things is um, really steady. They picked up a lot. And um, I can actually say that I have... Uh, Another form of income that I can actually rely on. So that's pretty much how that went. So question number 10. Why choose a vendor over a manufacturer is the question. The difference between a vendor and a manufacturer is this. A vendor will provide sunglasses for you at a wholesale price in wholesale quality, quantity. So you have a wholesale price, which should be like cheaper or like a discount because you're paying for it in bulk and you're getting wholesale quantity now on the other hand a manufacturer is a company who designs and then creates your sunglasses according to your customized details so you would choose a vendor for a sunglass business and you would choose a manufacturer for starting a customized sunglass line i hope that makes sense okay Moving right along, question 11. Okay, so question 11 says, what sites do I recommend to build your website on? The recommended sites to build your website, I would say is Shopify, Wix, Squareface, I mean Squarespace, I'm sorry guys, a Weebly, Webno, Jimdo, um, WordPress, Webflow is a bunch of different uh, sites that you can use. These are just some of the ones that I recommend. I'll make sure I'll list them here and um, put them down below in the description for you guys to see uh, the different pros and cons of each website. Question number 12. Question number 12 is, how do you keep your prices so low with shipping costs? For me personally, I keep all my glasses price the same at a low price and i charge uh six dollars for shipping that's just something that i do i use priority mail to ship um and it's about seven dollars for shipping anywhere in the u.s and it comes with fifty dollars of insurance and a tracking number so if you really want to be cheap you can just um ship first class i hope that helps Moving right along, question number 13. So question 13 is, can I get my inventory from street vendors? I like to see what I'm buying first, which is totally understandable. I love street vendors. You definitely can, but you may have to buy each pair of glasses individual. And in that case, you are losing money because wholesale buying is better. You get more inventory for less money. I would suggest trying to negotiate a wholesale deal or rate while shopping through with, with street vendors. Like when you shopping through with street vendors, 
try to get you like a wholesale deal or a wholesale rate. That way you can save some money. How do you package your sunglasses? I package my sunglasses in a glass sleeve, protect it, and I put them in a bubble poly mailer and insert a handwritten thank you note in the cart. Um, I also like to include my business card inside the package. I'll do a video on how I actually package my sunglasses just so you guys can have like a good visual of what it looks like. It's really simple. Um, question number 15. Can I sell my sunglasses on third-party sites like eBay or Amazon? Absolutely. You can sell on so many different websites. eBay, Amazon, Poshmark, Macari, OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, etc. Um, utilize these websites. Just make sure you keep track of your inventory. I know having a personalized website makes it really easy to keep track of your inventory because as people purchase, they'll actually like remove it off of the site. Um, so it makes it easier when you have your items on all these different third party sites. Sometimes um, something can be sold somewhere and you don't um, take that into account. And then you have to like cancel an order and tell them, you know, that item is sold out or whatever the case may be, because it's harder for you to like keep track of your inventory. So question number 16. Okay, I really want my eyewear to grow into an accessory line. And I want to have a percentage of each purchase to go somewhere else. How would I do that? Do you know if any vendors who can help with that? I guess, do you, do you know of any vendors who can help with that? Having your eyewear line grow into an accessory line is totally your choice. You can launch your business with both glasses and accessories. Or you can start off with eyewear and add accessories as you grow. Totally up to you. What do you mean about the percentage going somewhere else? The question is where? Uh, what, do, what do you mean? Do you mean the percentage going to charity, a percentage going to a separate account, a separate business, a percentage? Where's the percentage going? You didn't specify, so I can't really say. Um, the best advice I can give you is to take what you would like to put to the side for whatever it is that you decide and transfer that into your savings account or into like another checkings account so that way whenever you're ready to like distribute that money out to wherever else you want it to go you'll have it there and it's already separated from whatever else you were bringing in for the business hope this helps question number 17 once I purchase your vendors list, how will I receive the vendors? So once you purchase my vendors list, it will automatically be available to you. It will be downloaded straight to your device, your phone, your tablet, your laptop, whatever device it is that you have. Um, you shall also receive an email upon completion of your purchase with further details. So make sure you guys check your email as well. Question number 18. I researched who makes Gucci and Prada sunglasses, but I forgot the name. Would you happen to know? So for question number 18, I didn't even get a chance to research it for you guys. But, um, I mean, that's what Google's for. You just Google who makes Gucci sunglasses or who makes Prada sunglasses. So moving right along, question number 19. I was wondering, do those private label vendors drop ship products for you and how much they charge? So it varies. It actually varies by the vendor. This is a question you want to ask your vendor if this is something you are interested in before you actually select a vendor. So these are the questions that you want to ask. So make sure you know what it is that you're doing. Question number 20. Can we purchase the private labeling list alone? Yes, I have made changes to the site to make the private label list available for individual purchase. So hopefully by the time you guys see this video, um, the new wholesale list is up. If it's not, you're just going to have to purchase the original wholesale list that's there. Um, I do have a list of private label companies on the wholesale list. But again, stay tuned because I am going to be creating some more individualized wholesale lists. So question number 21. So when you purchase them by the dozen, do the frames come in different colors? Okay. 
You have to look at your vendor site and read the details for the particular frames and decide. Normally, it varies on different colors depending on the styles. Some styles don't come in color. Some styles only come in like silver or gold, maybe just silver, maybe just gold. So you have to pay attention to the vendor stock photos as well. In most cases, they'll show you exactly what it is you'll get in the box through their stock photos. So check the stock photos and make sure you click on the description and really get a good description of everything. Because it should tell you it should be two yellow frames in there, three golds. It should tell you. So make sure you guys just read question number 22. Okay, so question number 22 is what do you do with the glasses that aren't selling well? <clears throat> what I normally do with my glasses that aren't selling well is to add them on the site for a discounted price. I also like to give them away to people, especially fashionable people like friends and family, you know, because most customers come from word of mouth. So I like to just give them out to friends and family and just tell them, you know, enjoy it, whatever, knowing that people going see them in them and rocking them and be like, wait, where'd you get those from or whatever. And they'll be like 919 frames and, It'll bring the customers to me. Um, I think it's cool to list them in other places too. So check out Poshmark, eBay, Offer Up, um, Macari. Check out uh, Facebook Marketplace and stuff like that. But like I told y'all in the last answer, make sure you keep track of where you're posting your inventory. Okay, so question number 23. Would you recommend being a vendor at vendors events? And if so, how much supply should I bring in? How should I set it up? Okay. I think vendors events are really cool. Um, it's a cool way to get your brand some exposure and make some sales. How much you bring is entirely up to you. I would suggest you bring in your top five selling items and when setting up, make sure you keep your brand in mind, your brand theme in mind. Um, make sure you bring like a nice table cover, some gift bags, some business cards, and another way to take like uh, payments as opposed to just cash. Make sure you got a, like some type of square reader or some type of app that you can use on your phone where you can like take people credit card information if they don't want to pay with cash. Okay, question number 24. How much of a price range should I consider to start a sunglass line? Ouch. Starting, your starting price range is going to depend on your budget. A general rule of thumb I like to use is to um, check online with your vendors. They normally have a minimum order quantity. And normally you have to spend like at least $100 or $150. So I will use that as a general rule of thumb uh, to say that you'll need at least $100 or $150 to make your whole, to make your first wholesale order. So just start there. Okay. Question number 25. Can you use IRS Go to register your business for free? IRS Gov, I mean, IRS Gov is where you go to get your EIN number. Um, if you want to register your business and don't want to do the work, I would suggest that you guys visit freebusinessregistration.com and check them out because they will help register your business and you don't have to do all the work. Moving right along. Question 26. Should I drop ship my sunglasses to my customers? I don't know. Should you? It's like, nah. Drop shipping is a personal preference. As of now, I have a small business and I like to be hands on and involved with my orders. Drop shipping for eyewear, I would suggest when you are getting a lot of bulk orders or when your orders become too much and like too time consuming for you to fulfill on your own. That's when I would suggest that you do a uh, drop shipping but some people just prefer doing drop shipping they already have other things going on this might just be like an extra source of income for them so um it pretty much is entirely up to you number 27 is do i have to have a license to buy your wholesale list and vendors no you do not need a license to purchase my vendors list so what are you waiting for this is your first step to your very uh first wholesale order so just go over to the site and get started.
Question number 28. Are you saying the sales tax ID number is the same thing as the EIN number? Because I have a sales tax ID and I'm confused because there's like five different names for just one. Okay. Yes, a sales tax ID is also known as the EIN number or a federal tax identification number. I don't know. I had to take a question. That was actually an extra question in here that was repeated twice. Okay, the next question is, I was wondering who pays for shipping, me or my customer? Um, this is a personal choice. You can price your, your glasses and pay for shipping yourself, or you can add the shipping cost to the price of your glasses, and the customer will just assume that they're paying for the actual product. Uh, you can also, what I do is, you can price your inventory, you can price your sunglasses at, as one price, and you can add your shipping costs on at the end during the checkout price process. That's what I do. So, um, yeah, the customer will pay shipping. Um, most people don't mind paying shipping. I mean, you know you're buying a product or a service. So, I mean, most cases you need to pay for shipping too. Next question is, where can we go get our shades customized? I'm looking for customized cases and logos on my sunglasses too. Check the website for the individualized vendors list. Um, I know for a fact on my wholesale list, I have a private labeling company on there. A few private label companies that will actually help you customize your glasses and stuff. But again, I told you I'm working on individualized uh, wholesale list that actually is geared towards, you know, people that need packaging and everything like that as well. So just stay tuned and uh, check out the website. Can I have a regular checking account for my business? And to answer your question, yes, you can have a regular checking account. I always suggest having uh, two checking accounts and a savings account as well. Um, I would suggest getting a, a, a business account, but again, that's up to you. You don't have to. You could just get a regular checking account. Anyway, that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys found that very informative. Um, the next one won't be like home vlog style, but I'm super tired. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, angels.